in this episode of MGuy, we're going to look at the good, the bad, and the downright ugly of the ABC, the Active Body Control. So for those of you that are new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Um, I've got a back catalogue of about 130 videos uh, featuring a Maserati Gran Turismo, um, an Audi R8, a crazy V12 Mercedes CL65, and this beautiful SL55 AMG. It'd be great to have you as a subscriber. So the Active Body Control System, or ABC system, has kind of passed into Mercedes folklore as being this nightmarish suspension system that's going to cause you bankruptcy and require you to sell your kids to maintain it. And to some extent that is justified, but I kind of wanted to put this video together to explain what the AB system is, what is good about it, and what is not so great about it. And this is obviously just from my perspective, my history with um, this suspension system. I've had three cars with it. The original CL500, I'll put a link to the playlist up there. Uh, my current CL65 AMG has it, and this SL55 has it. So what is the active body control system? Well, the hint is really in the name, active, because most car suspensions are what you'd call passive. They don't add any energy into the system. They just respond to whatever's going on uh, around the car, what's happening at the wheel. Um, they generally consist of a spring combined with a damper. The spring resists the compression due to the weight of the car and if it were just a spring on its own, it would oscillate backwards and forwards and cause vibration. So a damper is added to the system, which takes energy out of the system so that the vibrations are damped. And by varying the various parameters of the spring and the damper, you can adjust the characteristics of the suspension. But as I say, it's a passive system. It responds to the inputs from the wheels. It cannot add en energy or power to the system. So the difference with the active body control is that each of the spring and damper systems also has a, has a piston attached to it, which can extend according to the amount of hydraulic fluid that's pumped into it. The car has a number of sensors positioned around it, uh, which measure the, the pitch and roll of the body. And these are connected to a computer and a valve block which directs very high pressure hydraulic fluid into these pistons, which can extend or reduce the height of the wheel on each corner. So basically the, the car can sense when it's going around a corner and if the body starts to lean outwards, the computer can open the valves and send high pressure hydraulic fluid to the outside uh, struts and can counteract that body roll and it does this uh, once every 10 milliseconds so it's a very very rapid adjustment for uh, any kind of roll or pitch that the computer can detect it's a fantastic system I have to say when it's working well it can really make a very heavy large and heavy car feel like a very light sports car um, certainly with the CL65, which is a, an extremely heavy and big car, it really does make that car feel like it handles like a very much smaller car. So when it works, it's a fantastic system. So I'm going to try and demonstrate um, how this works. I'm going to set up the camera, um, do some corners at fairly high speed, and you'll see that the car stays incredibly flat. So in real time, this shows me going around a fairly sharp corner at speed. In slow motion, you can see just how flat the car stays. Similarly, back the other way, a very rapid corner in slow motion, an extremely flat stance for the car. So what are the bad things about the system? Well, 
it does have an enormous amount of parts and a lot of complexity and what that means is that there's a lot to go wrong and obviously on these cars that are now getting towards you know 10 15 20 years old the components are starting to wear out there's a lot to go wrong and it can be expensive the real key to avoiding this kind of expense is to make sure that when you're buying one of these cars you really check the service history to see that the ABC fluid and the ABC filter has been changed regularly. The other things that can go wrong is that the struts can start to leak and they are expensive. Um, in Australia, uh, they are a couple of thousand dollars at least. Um, you can get remanufactured struts from a company called Arnott. Um, so I'll put a link to them down in the description. The other thing that can happen is that um, the valve block can start to play up and usually what that means is that the o-rings in the valve block tend to wear and what the symptom that you will tend to see is that if you leave the car for any length of time you will start to see the car sag either at one corner or at the front or the back it will sag down um, that's usually due to pressure being lost through the valve block it could also be a leak somewhere else in the system but you would normally see that as uh, a fluid leak um, in the in the system itself and that would mean the level would go down uh, in the in the reservoir in the under the under the hood um, if you're not seeing that it's probably a valve block issue there is a reconditioning kit that you can buy for those valve blocks which basically consists of new o-rings and if you're a bit mechanically minded and you've got a few tools you can carry out that that reconditioning process yourself it's not difficult the other thing that can go wrong is the um, the pump which applies the pressure this system is pressurized to an extremely high level something around 2000 psi which is very very high pressure indeed um, and there's a pump uh, connected to the drive belt which is actually called a tandem pump it actually works the um, power steering system as well as the ABC suspension system so that can just wear out and will need replacing and as you may have seen in my previous video that was done on this SL55 a while ago but it was an expensive part it's about 2600 Australian dollars so now we get to the ugly and there are some horror stories about the ABC system usually arising because of a lack of maintenance that's really what's at the root of a lot of these really catastrophic failures examples of a catastrophic failure is a blown hose which will reduce uh, or eliminate the pressure in the system that will mean that you will have to stop driving immediately you must not drive on it any further because it will cause um, catastrophic damage to the system the other things that can happen are a failure of the tandem pump and the stories that you do hear are of um, shards of metal being sent throughout the entire piping system for the ABC which requires everything to be replaced struts piping valve blocks and pump and that's probably a ten thousand dollar job very rare but can happen so the moral of the story is make sure you keep your maintenance up my personal experience with the ABC system is pretty good. Um, I've had no trouble touch wood on the CL65. The SL55 I've only had for a few weeks, but it's all working absolutely fine. Um, and touch wood, with regular maintenance, it will continue to operate. I have had a few issues with my previous um, CL. Uh, I had to get a valve block recondition done on that. Um, that was quite expensive I did pay someone to do that and I'll, I'll go I'll put a link to the videos about that uh, above here the system if it's maintained well and it operates well um, it is a fantastic system and you'll get great ride quality and great comfort there are a few little things you can do to make sure that you don't buy a lemon in this regard always check the, the level of the fluid in the ABC reservoir 
Um, if it's anything less than at the proper level, I would be concerned. You can also do this little test. With the engine running, you can put the car up to its various levels, level one and level two, make sure that it goes up quickly and doesn't hesitate. And then when, it go, when you push it down, make sure it goes down swiftly. It's a good test you can do. Do that a few times on any car that you're thinking of buying. The other thing you can do is try and um, see the car before it's been started. Uh, sometimes if you warn a dealer that you're going to come and look at a car, they'll start it up and get the level right. Um, but if you can turn up and look at it uh, unannounced, that often gives you a better clue as to what condition the ABC system is in. The other thing you can do, of course, is always check the maintenance records. The record should indicate when the uh, ABC fluid and filter have been changed. So make sure that's been done. If it's an old car and there's no sign of the fluid being changed, um, I'd be concerned. So all these little things just add up to build a picture of the car, build a picture of how well the system's been looked after. And um, yeah, then you just have to use a bit of luck and a bit of judgment to, uh, to make sure you're buying a, a car with a good system. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little video about the ABC system. I hope it's been useful. Um, put down in the comments any experiences you've had with cars with this um, active body control system. I think it's a really great system proviso when it works. When it doesn't work, it can be expensive, but when it works, it's absolutely fantastic. But I'd love to hear um, your experiences, so put them down in the comments. I'd be uh, very interested to read them. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to smash that like. It'd be great to have you as a subscriber and hit that notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram at mguy.tv or Twitter at mguy underscore TV. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.